Doc McStuffin is my doctor. I'm working a night shift in the emergency room, and every room is packed, including the waiting room, except for one trauma bay and the psych room for once. I look on my screen and pick up the next three rooms, not realizing one is a child because of the complaint. Anywho, as I am walking down the hall, I see a little girl's head peeping out. I wasn't headed to her room until last, and I hear her say, here she comes, with excitement and anticipation. I go on to my other rooms, but can hear her speaking to someone in the room with her. Eventually, I walk into the room, and she is standing there, frozen, looking at me. I'm thinking she is scared. I look over, and no one is in the bed. I introduce myself and ask for the patient. She shyly raises her hand. I say hello and ask her to get in the bed and tell her what is wrong with her. She doesn't move. Her mom says, I apologize. She's starstruck as she moves her toward the bed. I smile, but she never takes her big, beautiful brown eyes off me. She says, I have something on my butt, but you gotta be gentle and you cannot touch it. I say, turn over and let me see. She turns over and as I go to touch it, she flips back onto her back and says, wait. She looks at her parents and whispers to her mother. I assume she is scared, but this is not my first rodeo with the little humans. So I start over. I put my hands in my pockets and ask her to show me. She turns and shows me. I say, wow, that is huge. What happened? Just imagine the story. She's about six years of age. I say, well, I have to touch it and it will hurt. She looks at me and says, yeah, I know it'll hurt, but I know you'll be gentle and make it all better. I ask, how do you know that? She looks at me and laughs and says, because you're Doc McStuffin, silly. And Doc McStuffin makes everything better. I look at her mom and her mom mouths, I'm sorry, when you said your name, she heard Doc McStuffin. I say, no apology needed. I'm honored. And so I proceed. She has a huge abscess on her butt. I opened it and drained it, and she never shed a tear. When I was done, I said, all done, and it's all better. She flips over and says, I knew you could do it. We sang the Doc McStuffin song, and as I was leaving her room, I saw her turn to whisper once again to her mom. Her mom runs out the room behind me and says, I apologize. I know you are busy and the waiting room is packed. You obviously have children because you were so gentle and caring with her and you let her take her time to be comfortable with you with what you have to do. You talked her through it and you sang with her. This has been the greatest experience for all of us. She is so excited, but if I can trouble you for one more minute, she wants a picture with you. She's just too afraid to ask. I say, sure, I'll be right back. I wait a few minutes and then I go back in. And I say, you're still here? I give her some Doc McStuffin goodies and ask if I can have a picture with her. She looks at her mom and her face lightens up and she says, mom, can you please, mom, mom, please, come on, mom, make sure you get it right, mom, don't mess it up, mom. She gets her little pose together, then looks at her pic and says, I love it, good job, mom. Her mom tells her to say thank you. She says, thank you, Dr. Stefan. I say goodbye and ask for a hug and tell her she was my best patient tonight. She looks at her parents and they say, go on. She runs into my arms and squeezes so tight and won't let go. Her mom tries her best to pry her away and says, come on now. You've taken up too much of her time and she has other sick people to see. Her dad extends his hand and says, thank you so much. If I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't believe this experience. Thank you again. I respond, you are very welcome. As her mom is literally dragging her through the door, she is looking back, waving and shouting, bye Doc McStuffin, see you later. And that is what makes it all worthwhile. I hope it makes you smile.